update for mid-February. We have so much stuff uh, to talk about. One is the Alboridium Oracle. This is so cute. This is so insanely cute. I like this a lot. So it's fairly reasonable at about uh, 40 bucks uh, per the deck. And you also can get a journal. You can get the book. A bunch of different things comes with this, but the cards look just really good. I like the color options and how they treated the sort of the watercolor mix uh, here. But yeah, I really like how they did everything. And I really like the detail that they achieved in this as well, which is unusual for a watercolor deck. A lot of times you just have it very loose, but they sort of went detailed in a lot of respects here. So really, really like this. Definitely something that I already backed. This is the Arboretum Oracle. And probably one of the biggest news items that we have is the coins of the tarot. These are tarot coins, real tarot coins. So this person actually is creating the coins. They're create, they're stamping the coins themselves. Now I know I've seen tarot dice uh, and a lot of different other tarot accessories, but hand stamped, hand created coins. I've never seen this. Comes with a pretty lightweight book as far as those goes. But I mean, look at this. That is so cool. Now be aware, we're talking about February of next year. So it's gonna take this person a year to do it. Why you ask? Because again, they're doing it themselves. And they have 470 people. That's 476 times 78. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You're gonna have to hand stamp 476 sets of these and it's going to take a year but that said the prototype sure looks good sure looks good if you're interested in just the cups or the pentacles you can order those but yeah but the prototype is just fantastic and this is something that i'm super super excited about you're talking about 85 bucks plus shipping. I'm not really sure what the ship, I think the shipping was like 15 or something, but I mean, I mean, it's a lot of money, but tarot coins, how inventive is that? And the, catharth, yeah, the catharsis tarot is on Kickstarter. This is extremely interesting looking. I'm not really sure I'm a fan of the 99 card and then the way some of them are colored and whatnot it does not have a lot of backers as well but it, hey it did meet the goal so if you're interested in this check that out so the lumos and Knox foil card decks only 27 backers only 27 backers uh it's two different styles one is a very colorful style like you see here and then the other one is really foiled out I mean, it's really foiled out. If you've seen the foil effects like this, it's really foiled out. But you can choose which one you want. And I do like the non-foiled version. Let me show you this instead of scrolling. I do enjoy this one, the Lumos deck. I enjoy that a lot. What I'm not a fan of is obviously Master of the Obvious here, the borders. Those are, those are some big, thick, prime rib, thick borders. And I'm not convinced that I want to launch into those. I like the images. I think the images are cute. If they were borderless and larger, I believe I would definitely be diving into this full, full tilt, but uh, not so much. Now here are the other one, the foiled out ones. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this, but the Lumos, I'm a big fan, big fan. Just don't like the borders. That's the only thing stopping me there. So Fyodor Pavlov has hit the scene quite hard. Uh, this has almost 700 backers in like a day. So this is an artist and the watercolor images that they have created are really nice looking. I really think this is interesting. So I believe this is a tattoo artist and he is also selling original art, which sold out. So that's interesting. So it's, you know, it's a brand name, his name, Taro, that you can pick up. And it's currently available for 50 bucks plus 15 shipping in the US. 
and he has a ton of extras, obviously. So you do have quite a bit of cool art that comes with this. So there is him making this with pen and ink. Um, so yeah, this is his fourth Kickstarter, so it's pretty reliable. I do like the images. They're very tattooish. And you know I'm a fan of the Inkromancy. The Inkromancy that I have already backed. So I went ahead and backed this. This is something that I personally want. And again, this is the Fyodor Pavlov Tarot. And another one is the Tarot of Vlad Dracula. So this is interesting. How cool is this? This person went and looked up Dracula type references and then redid them. Let me scroll down. Pardon the scroll. Here we go. So here's, for example, here's a German pamphlet of Vlad. And then here is the remake into a card. Here's a remake into the card. So this is very cool that they got this sort of this Transylvania theme and redid it into cards. I think it's really, really nice. And lastly on Kickstarter is the Psycho Pop Tarot. Only nine backers, you know, for a day, whatever. Only nine backers. I like these images. We're still in the watercolor realm. Watercolor seems to be the new spam. It seems to be the new trend on Kickstarter by far. Unfortunately, this person doesn't have, I mean, a lot of anything. I wish I could see more cards. I wish I could see some close-up of the cards. But what I see, I like. I like. What I see, I like. I just need more uh, more cowbell here. I need to see more in order to make a decision. Uh, they are only shipping as well in the certain countries. So when you select this, it only gives you like the United States and outlying areas. But it's 40 bucks plus, I think it was 10 bucks shipping or something. Again, a lot of potential, some potential here. Need to see more cards uh, to make a decision on the Psycho Pomp Tarot. The lovely Al Moon 513 reveals the El Quay Oracle. This is such a pretty deck, such a pretty deck. I really wanted to pick this up, but I have so many Oracle decks I need to sort of cut down. I really have, I have so many Oracle decks, but this is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Go check that out. Again, Al Moon 513. You have to see this oracle. And Support of Tarot with Lisa, our favorite channel ever, has Cup of Contemplation cards by Julie Rose. I believe this is an indie deck as well. And it has, you know, sort of mild images there, uh, keyword type style. So if you like that type, then sure, jump right in. And Toadstool Tarot brings us the Sila Conway's Intuitive Tarot. Cute images. Again, sort of that, you know, sort of loose style. If you're interested in this Intuitive Tarot, I think this looks fairly decent. I do enjoy the images. I think that they did a good job on these. And everybody's favorite, Papa Squirrel, gives us the Magic of You Oracle in traditional Papa Squirrel style where he'll show us the cards, show us the size, show us the quality, and then give us a full frontal view of all of the various cards. And Andrew Baker brings us a 78 Tarot Elemental Unboxing. By the way, this is stunning artwork. Look at this artwork. If you're interested in this, you can pick this up from her site. Wow, look at this. This is a no-brainer purchase for me. Absolutely no-brainer purchase for me. It's just stunning in every possible way. It is devastatingly beautiful to me. This is so well done. So much detail. If you're interested in this deck, by the way, you can pick it up at 78tarot.cards. It is 60. It is 60. Not really sure how much shipping is. It ships from Virginia, and I believe this is available right now. So yeah, this is something that is an absolute no-brainer. So 78 Tarot Elemental. V Love and Crystals has so much good stuff. V Love and Crystals, go check her channel out immediately. The Witching Hour Oracle deck. She calls it Silky Smooth, and the images are pretty cool looking as well. Check these out. 
that looks really nice. I like the communication, reach out. It's very sort of, uh, very sort of simplistic and samey as far as the background is concerned, but I do like the work that was put into it. It looks nice. And Boy Diviner brings us the Orion's Tarot. This was on Kickstarter, and a lot of people were excited about the edges. They had different edge options and a lot of different sort of holographic edges, I believe. So these are very, very pretty. I did not back this because I was kind of short on cash at the time, but I sure wish I kind of had now that I'm seeing it, you know? Now that I'm seeing it. Uh, this was also called the Oreo Tarot as a joke, so in case you heard the Oreo Tarot sometime. That, but look at the cards. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? I really wish I had backed it, but short on cash at the time. But yeah, Cosmic Animal Deck, well done. Cool edging, beautiful uh, images. And Tarot, Your Truth, it brings us the Ancient Enlightened Tarot. I believe, I believe this was a remake, obviously a remake of the Solabuska, but I'm not sure if this one was where they tried to convert the Solabuska into more tarot-friendly cards. There was an effort by one of the Etsy people to convert it into more uh, tarot traditional so that you'd have a definitive one-to-one -one mapping with tarot cards. So I'm not sure if this is the one or not, but... It is very colorful, and I like what they did with it. This is available on Etsy, I believe. So, Kit Waits and Tarot gives us the Accurate AF. You know what that means, Accurate as F Tarot Review. It's obviously circular deck. Very, very interesting as far as how they colored it and how they approached the cards and sort of this minimal use of color and obviously the round deck. Not a fan of round decks, but... This one does look very attractive. And Tarot Your Truth also brings us the Tarot Serene. Look how cute this is. Look how cute that is. And V Live and Crystals, great channel by the way, gives us the Earth Power Oracle deck. Earth Power, look how pretty that is. Earth Power Oracle deck. Let's, let's see some of the cards close up. I wanna see some of the cards individually here. Um, yeah, like this. They did a nice job with this. I like the incorporation of the images with sort of that drawing style. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm a big fan of this. This looks good. And I like how it has more detailed explanation at the bottom as well. That really helps in some of these Oracle decks where you're not really sure how to, you know, you don't really want to go to the book, basically. And Hermit's Cave, Simon brings us the first look at the Dream Decoder cards. How interesting is that? I like Dream cards. I do like dream cards because they give us a different perspective on where we're sort of headed to. And these look uh, minimalistic, obviously, but I like how the back gives us uh, more information. Instead of just a standard day-to-day, -day, everyday boring back, you have some actual info back there. And Ethany, by the way, brings us a Curious Oracle deck unboxing and first impressions. How cute is that? I like the little style. I mean, it's a small deck, right? It's a small deck. Uh, honeybee, Lotus Fire, Broken Wing. How interesting. Artwork is cute. And the borders are a bit thick, but they do contain the information that you need on them. So I think that's kind of nice. A bit, a bit small for my taste. If I'm getting an Oracle, I know I'm picky. If I'm getting an Oracle, I like a larger deck. I, I just do, unless it's going to be a Lenormand or something. And Tarot Vibes Oracle brings us Tarot of A.E. Weight. Flip through. How interesting is this? So pretty much Rider Weight, right? Rider Weight, just sort of a flip through here. So Supportive Elite Tarot with Lisa gives us the Wizards Tarot by Barbara Moore unboxing and walkthrough. You've seen this on my channel as well. Wizards Tarot is a nice, big, thick kit, by the way. Very big, thick kit. Barbara Moore, always, always a pleasure to get Barbara Moore's stuff. And there we have it. So she got a, I believe, a, um, a advanced copy from Barbara Moore. I'm not really sure how that works, but I know Llewellyn has released this if you're interested in it. Also a review and flip through on my channel as well. And Truth and Story brings us a spacious tarot walkthrough. How pretty is that? I really like this one. Very minimalistic, but the color combinations, 
and how they treated some of the cards is very interesting. And Papa Squirrel brings us this Supra Oracle. Supra Oracle. Check this out. Black and white. Minimalistic. Um, but yeah, the artwork is pretty stunning on this. The drawing techniques are great. And Oya's Girl brings us the Hoodoo Tarot. Hoodoo Tarot is, I believe, new and is very interesting tarot as well. Let's check out some of the cards here. There we go. Hoodoo Tarot. If you're into hoodoo, I know this has been on pre-order for a while, and I'm excited to finally see it come out. And I do like some of these images. I wish it was more colorful, but I do like some of the images. And Tarot Oculus brings us the Carnival at the End of the World. How interesting is this deck? And Simon at the Hermit's Cave brings us the Crystal Skull Tarot by Jesse Driscoll. Now this is a very pretty deck. Well, well done. Uh, if you like this style, again, a bit on the minimalistic side, but I like how they use the colors. I like the blending of the images. And overall, I think it's quite a fascinating deck. Very unusual. And Strength from Tarot brings us the El Goliath Tarot deck. El Goliath Tarot deck. Very, very large cards. Very uh, substantially large cards in a very thick box as well. So if you like this style, black and white with unusual images, but a lot of information. There's a lot here to sort of let your intuition pick up on and run with, right? A lot to sort of run with as far as intuitive is concerned, images is concerned, and a lot of work looks like it was put onto this as well. And Papa Square also brings us the Jonasa Jaus Tarot. Look at this, a very unusual deck for sure, and wildly colored as well. Let's check out some of these images. Yeah, that is pretty cool looking. That is indeed pretty cool looking. And Heather Carter brings us a Sacred Destiny Oracle. Sacred Destiny Oracle, how pretty is this? I really like the blending of the images with this. I like uh, where they went with this. They sort of just picked up images and ran with it or they just sort of picked up the style of particular images and ran with it i like the sort of the almost the carnival type uh feel to this otherworldly type feel to this i'm a bit booked up on oracles but this one is very well done and mindful tarot brings us the eight coins tattoo tarot the u.s games versus the indie edition Wow, look at the color difference between those two. Look at the color difference. Wow, that is really desaturated on the left. Can you see that? I mean, that is they that is remarkably desaturated. I don't know if it's maybe the, the gloss on the card that makes the one on the right look so much better. But yeah, not only larger, but looks very, very good. Eight coins, tattoo, tarot. I'm a big fan of tattoo, tarot. And I think that this was well done. I'm still looking look forward to Incromancy, which is on Kickstarter right now. I did back that one. And I think that one's going to be wild. But yeah, this is a very pretty deck. And did you know I had a Patreon? That's right, a Patreon where you can throw a couple of bucks my way to help me with stuff that I pay for, basically. So Patreon helps support the channel. If you're interested in the channel, you like the channel content, throwing a couple of bucks my way, I would greatly appreciate it. It's a subscription service. So you just basically subscribe for a couple of months and throw a couple of bucks my way. My current Patreon supporters are Adam G, Ali Cat, Annie, LaMaster, Bethany, Killian, Brianna, Santiago, Carmen, Gabriano, Carolyn Bouchard, Crystal, McGinn, Dominica, Mesopa, Fatima, Galatia 9, Gary Fink, Irina and Jessica Mante, Kim Wilson, KSW, La Ami, Maureen Morley, Mirkioles Gomez, Richard Zeh, Shintara Kuga, Sinai Zamora, and Sophia. Thank all of you for being my supporters. If you would like to join the crowd of Patreon supporters, link in the description where to join. Patreon supporters get all sorts of bonus content not available anywhere else, including my book, uh, all the handouts for all the courses, etc., are available there. So come check me out for some bonus content. 
and I appreciate all of your support. And as always, please hit like and subscribe. It grace graciously, greatly helps me out. Thank you so much, and have a great day.